Hi friends! Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 19. Boop boop. So, first let's look at it at uh, day 18, Sindor. The dried splat has some nice haloing. I haven't done a whole lot of writing with this. I still have to do the transcription. Shame on me. So, can't tell you much about it. Sorry. But that's life. So, let's set it aside. Here's how this... <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I think I'm just going to, like, put... Like, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> let's find the ink for today. <laughs> and turn the page. Here I am, picking ink again. Okay, close my eyes. It wants to stop here. How weird. Y'all, I think there's something wrong with this. It's, it's not orange, huh? funky who knew that was possible um <laughs> let's find it so our pick in case you can't read my writing ferris wheel press edwards gardens i i'll be honest i kind of want to throw it back Can, should we mulligan should we mulligan our ink choice Do we get a mulligan? Who knows what mulligan even means? Do you know how I know that word? Y'all can laugh at this. I hope you do. I know it from my little brother playing golf games on the computer when he was like 10. And then the other brothers being like, you can't just mulligan every shot. Um... But it turned out you could, actually. <laughs> okay, we're doing a mulligan. We're doing a mulligan. We're going to pick one of these colors. Ready? And... Bam! Let's go. Let's go. Mulligan. Honey bee eater chin. Sorry, Edward. You and your gardens are going to have to wait. <gasps> you know how much it was meant to be? That happened to be the first one I pulled out. It's a sign. We're doing it. We're doing it and doing it and doing it well. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. What's, what's a, what of these pins looks like a honeybee eater chin to you? Hmm. Dare we reuse? Are we at that point already where I feel like it? <clears throat> hmm. No. I'm gonna use this one. Haven't used it? Going to. Come on now. Here we are. This is my Jinhao uh, X750 in... Um, the sparkly. I put I put a replacement nib on it, so it's a total B now. <laughs> so how are you doing today? Well, I hope. Um, you'll be glad to know that I told a lot of people yesterday that the music sounded better with them.
Um, today, probably telling people not to worry. Okay, admittedly, I also was in a meeting with the uh, studio heads to go over some, it was like a, you know, it was like a jam sesh. And I, the song was in my head. And so I was just kind of mouthing along to the lyrics. I was listening to what, like I didn't have the song on or anything. That would be super awkward and inappropriate. But I was like, Okay, indoor, for the love of better. Inked. Good job. So I just kind of mouthing along to the lyrics, and and then he was like, oh, Maria, I see you moving your mouth. Did you have something to say? I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I just still have that song stuck in my head. Um, and he said, oh, which one, Peaches or something like that? And I said, no, don't you worry, child. And I'm like, that's the name of the song. I'm not telling you that. To, and then I was just like, I'm muting myself right now. <laughs> Hi, I'm about to make things awkward. Muting myself. But you know what? I've been there long enough. They already know I make things awkward. Okay, there's a hair in this. Or a fuzz. Let's go. It's still there. Okay, so how do we do this again? Oh, we zoom in. Mm, good job, Maria. This is here. Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Chin. Well, there was ink on the section. Hey, fellow writers out there, do you have a writer's bump? If you don't know what a writer's bump is, that's that deformation. <laughs> okay, and this is the Jin How X750B. Perfect lines, perfect lines. This ink like floats on the paper. Can you see it? It's got like thickness. It's thick. Love it. Let's do here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 30 inks, 30 days. April. 2023, day 19. Van Diemen's Honeybee Eater Chin. Pen. Chin. Oh, X750. This is a Bach. This is a Bach B. Yeah, we had to hear that again. It was so good. Um Okay, it's time to splat gonna be perfect oh I like this one I got outside my comfort zone They eat things other than just honeybees. Just so you know. 
case it would sadden you to, to think of all those poor honeybees. I looked it up. I like this splat. Is this dry enough? Yeah. Let's do the front. I didn't do the front yesterday. On the camera, at least. I mean, I did it. Look, where are you going? You're going there. We're go coming here. Moving that. Where's the thing? Here's the thing. And that thing. And we're inking. Um, a little bit later today than usual. I should be on a walk right now, but. There's too much ink there. I wish I had a paper towel. They're better at being thirsty. Hold on. I got an idea. Hold on, don't go anywhere. Here. This is pretty good at being thirsty. I wonder why this wound up. I bet this wound up in my like, I don't need this anymore pile of clothes because it was too small. <laughs> Which means it might fit now. Uh, so let's just put chin. Because, like, look, I'm not going to fit more than that on there. It's chin. I'll put H-B-E. H-B-E. We can totally read it because I wrote on top of black and this is yellow. And that's how ink works, I'm sure. Is this yellow? Sort of a golden. All right. Um, this was a totally coherent and 100% successful uh, day, I think. Don't you think? So here we are with day 19. Let's lay it all out. Make it look pretty. You got pretty hair. <laughs> um, sorry. Where did that come from? It doesn't matter. It happened. Here we are. So, um... Day 19, Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Chin in a Jin Hao X750 with a broad nib. Nib. I hope, I hope you're having a wonderful day while watching this and take care of yourself. Bye.